Welcome back to my journey, going from a Burger King employee to a senior assistant working from home full time. The last video I talked about how crucial that last job was. And um, that was at the hospital, worked there for almost 13 years. And it went from being a technician to application analyst to application analyst level two, and then sysadmin and then a senior sysadmin. And also in that video, I mentioned how uh, the family and I wanted to be able to work remotely and be able to travel, be able to come out here to California in a guest house and be able to work full remote. And unfortunately that hospital didn't have any opportunities for me at the time. So no hard feelings at all, but it is what it is. So I started getting hit up by recruiters for all kinds of different positions. Um, and I didn't really understand it at the time. I'm like, I don't really want a contract job. Um, these recruiters are kind of shady. I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here. Just, I, I just didn't have any experience with it. I was just bypassing stuff. I started applying for some jobs. I had people contact me from like Iowa, uh, but they were looking for hybrid people. And you know, a lot of these opportunities were out there, but not what I was looking for. So eventually I got hit up by a recruiter and I'm like, why not? I'll just talk to these people and see. I, I just haven't dealt with them before. So I talked to her, she was very nice. Uh, she said, hey, this place is looking for a sysadmin, a senior sysadmin to do certain things. And it's in the healthcare industry and it's a two year contract. So I'm like, ah, contract, I, you know, I kind of, I'm, I'm more of a safe, secure career type of person. Uh, I don't like the short stuff. I don't like uh, the iffy stuff, but I figured, you know what, this is a two year contract. A lot can happen, a lot can change uh, in these two years. Maybe I can start looking elsewhere. Uh, maybe this will turn into some. And they did say it's a two year contract with the intent to hire. So I said, all right. So I talked to her, um, it sounds good. She asked if I wanted to submit my application. I said, hell yeah, let's do it. And it was gonna be more money, um, a, a decent amount more money and two year contract full remote. And f the, the type of work it was, it's more in the cybersecurity realm of things, but my title is senior sysadmin. You know, I was a little bit iffy on it. Anyways, had an interview with the company with two people from the, from the uh, organization and they're very nice. It sounds like um, I'm what they're looking for. It sounds decent to me, it sounds easy compared to what I was doing. Ended up getting hired. And basically what it is, is they hired a team of eight people uh, there's five senior sysadmins throughout the country. I'm one of them, and then three business analysts. And then also there's 30 something other like uh, people that are, are on-prem as part of this team to go physically handle some, some things. But essentially what, what, what the job is, is to the business analysts are gonna be analyzing data, reports, metrics, from a cybersecurity standpoint and compliance standpoint. And we're gonna find anything, or they're gonna find anything that might need remediation. And if so, they'll create tickets and then us admins uh, will each have our own region or market. Uh, so like I have Southern California and um, essentially I would go and pull the ticket and remediate the problem. So if it's a server, a Linux server that needs patching, uh, a Windows server, uh, edge devices, you know, medical devices, cameras, etc., that need any kind of remediation that aren't being dealt with, I would step in and, and do some remediating. It's a brand new team, so of course it's a large organization. There's a lot of things that need to happen before we actually get into the nitty gritty. But I have been there at this point over a month and a half now, I think, and it's been great. The team is awesome. Um, I'm full-time work from home or work from anywhere. I never have to set foot into a clinic or a hospital or office or anything like that. 100% just work from home. So I'm very excited to be able to have this opportunity. And that's where we're at today. Uh, I guess the point of this whole video series is, is to show a real life example of, of someone who started in fast food, who had um, a child at a very young age and had some struggles along the way and decided to take some steps back to become a technician after a couple different jobs and to just continue to grow and understand that you have to grow into these positions. So this is one man's experience. Um, do I have a degree? No. <laughs> have I taken computer classes? Yeah, I've taken, I don't know, way back when I've taken some oddball college classes for like Office and Photoshop and um, I don't know, some random stuff. But uh, the only real technical training I've had is that one technical training 
course that, I, that was six months. It was a trade school thing, learning copiers and electronics and learning how to troubleshoot um, and, and really, really, really refining the, that troubleshooting aspect. And that was huge. Uh, but other than that, uh, I taught myself, it, well, with the help of other sysadmins along the way and other people that I've worked with, uh, ultimately I've, I've taught myself uh, everything I needed to know to, uh, to get where I'm at today. So it's doable. Do you have to have a degree? No. Do I think you should? Yeah. If you have the time and energy and the money, do it. It could only help you. Um, even though a lot of places I worked didn't require it, it does help in the selection process and you do learn a lot going to school. So thanks for joining me in this journey, guys.